I, I feel like bullying is something we, we really need to keep talking about. Um, and it can't just be shoved under the rug into this like box of like, well, that's snowflake stuff, you know? If you were to visualize bullying, what does it look like to you? I've experienced bullying all throughout growing up, unfortunately, and it's taken many different forms. A boy who I was trying to hide my sexuality behind asked me for nude photos at age 14 and would not stop asking me for over a year until I finally sent him the photos. And then he posted the photos online in retaliation for me coming out as being queer. For me, bullying has taken so many shapes in the fact that it's meant to silence me. Yeah. It's meant to harm me and to humiliate me and shame me into submission. Um, and even though that happened to me when I was 14, it still lives with me today. I do think that is important to acknowledge that bullying doesn't necessarily look like it does in movies. It's not always uh, physical. I can definitely say that in middle school, my grades were like trash. After transitioning, there was a lot of, there were a lot of microaggressions that students said, but it was just seen as bullying, you know? Um, and since I didn't feel that it was a safe space to go to teachers, and that I didn't feel safe for my peers. I began to like retract in class. I didn't want to like be a part of the school community and I, stopped, I started doing really bad in class. It's irresponsible of anyone to expect someone who's going through that much trauma to then be able to pick themselves up, wake up at 7 a.m. and go to school and be successful. I believe the suicide rate of trans teens is four times that of their cisgender counterparts. And that's because we're, you know, bullying is just part of growing up. Well, it's not. Um, and that's why so many beautiful trans teens aren't getting to right. grow up. And right. if you're bullied all through high school, all through middle school, and you are just negativity is being spoken into your mind, and you are just constantly being degraded, that is going to become your mindset. And I know that I've, I've suffered from that. We're here at Hetrick Martin Institute, which is also the home of the Harvey Milk High School, which creates a safe space for LGBTQ teens who have experienced bullying. Did either of you ever feel that you had to hide who you are to avoid bullying? Growing up in a small town, I've always been ridiculed for my appearance in some way, whether that be wearing too much makeup or having the hair extensions and dyeing my hair and just wanting to express myself. But ever since I started to um, be open as a gender nonconforming person and truly feel good in my appearance and in my body, it's also subjected me to ridicule. Bullying doesn't just magically end when you leave school, right? Bullying lasts well into the world. I guess if I had to open this up to what I would say to LGBTQ youth, it would be um, do you, do you on your own terms, uh, be yourself however safely you can. If you could uh, speak to your middle school self, what would you say? Beyond your hair, beyond your clothes, you are all that you say you are. You are a girl, you are um, a, an artist, and that all this nonsense in the hallways, um, all these whispers at the table, one day they won't have power over you anymore. I swear, my younger self inspires me more than anyone else. And so I want to thank them for staying alive and for staying loud and for staying unapologetic and for staying here. Well, thank you so much, both of you, for sharing all of this with me today. And if you would like to take a stand against bullying, join GLAAD this Spirit Day on October 19th. All you have to do is go purple and visit glad.org slash spirit day to take the pledge.